guys, today's gonna be a tutorial and please do thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy this get ready with me so yeah I had a bit of acne breakouts today but you'll see that I pretty much cover all of it with this makeup so first I'm using an autograph primer from Marks and Spencer and putting out way too much but we're working with it and it's supposed to be a brightening primer so I do have oily skin but it worked pretty well it didn't make my face look oily or shimmery or anything like that I decided to also start with um, a concealer under my eyes so that it brightens up my under eye, under eye area before I put foundation on and that is a Revolution Conceal and Define I believe and it looks like I got the lightest shade from the collection just to really brighten up my under eyes. Then I go in with a Clinique foundation, I can't remember the name, I got this as a gift for my birthday and the lightening drops from Makeup Revolution, they've been a lifesaver for any foundations that are just too dark and so that I don't have to run everything down my neck, I can kind of brighten it to match my face tone exactly. And I'm blending this all in with a number seven blending sponge. So again, just applying a little more and throwing it all over the bathroom, that was great. I would say this is a pretty standard blending sponge, nothing special, but it applied all my makeup as normal. So running it down my neck a bit as well and then I always go in with the Rimmel Match Perfection Powder, that's the one I'm working through right now, on a flat kind of powder brush I would say this is. So I applied that all over the face and then I'm going in with a Makeup Revolution palette, this is Fortune Favors the Brave and I used a kind of shimmery bronze shade, the shimmer isn't showing up on camera but yeah it was kind of like a bright bronzy shade. And then with the clean end of a double ended brush I just blended it out into the crease and then highlighted with a very light skin tone shade. And then on the center of the lid, I applied a very light shimmery white shade. And to finish off with the under eye kind of lash line, I went in with a very dark brown shade and just made sure to blend it all out so it didn't look like a really harsh line. And then finally for the eyes, I went in with the Pure Cosmetics Mascara. I can't remember the exact name, but I used this in literally all of my tutorials and all of my looks. I list it on my Instagram as well and getting it into my eye was great. <laughs> it really did help kind of thicken up my lash line and lift my lashes a bit as well. And then for the brows, I always go in with Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Torp. And this is as usual, I've always been using this brush for years, using the Sephora Tapered Brush. Me realizing my eyebrows are second cousins twice removed rather than sisters. So this is a Sephora bronzer as well I believe, I can't remember the name but I got, got it years ago in Sephora so I'm not sure if it's still available but it adds a really kind of bright glowy shade. So for highlighter I went in with the Makeup Revolution Pink Lights Highlighter on a fan brush and then finally set my face with a NYX setting spray. So for the lips I went in with just a Max Factor lip liner in the shade Pink Petal to outline my lips and then a plumping lip gloss from Soap and Glory, which is the Mother Pillow Plump, not Mother Pucker, but Pillow Plump Extreme to kind of give me those Kylie lips as much as I could possibly get. That is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now I'll quickly show you my outfit. So I went in with a Primark bodysuit, which I had to layer with another top because it was a bit sheer, and this really nice fake leather skirt from Warehouse. It looks great tucked in with bodysuits, and then a Simple red handbag from AliExpress. Quite a simple look, but I hope you guys enjoyed.